Eight supplements that actually improve our health, starting with creatine. The International Society of Sports Nutrition concluded that creatine monohydrate is the most effective nutritional supplement currently available to athletes in terms of increasing high-intensity exercise capacity and lean body mass during training. Now, it's important to note that it primarily helps with short bursts of high-intensity exercise, as demonstrated by this meta-analysis, concluding that creatine supplementation is effective in lower limb strength performance for exercise with a duration of less than 3 minutes. In contrast, creatine doesn't seem to improve endurance performance, however it does improve muscle recovery from training. But it's not just muscle performance and recovery that creatine seems to be useful for. There was a 2022 meta-analysis that looked at cognitive performance, and that study concluded that creatine supplementation enhanced measures of memory performance in healthy individuals, especially older adults. That study did have its problems, however, where the individual studies that their meta-analysis combined, they showed varying results. And six of the ten included studies had a high risk of bias. So we can't fully rely on that study, however the initial results are promising. When it comes to creatine safety, over a five year period, the results have consistently shown that creatine supplementation poses no adverse health risks. In particular, the literature does not support any link between creatine supplements and kidney dysfunction. There's also no evidence that creatine affects a hormone called DHT, and there's no evidence that creatine causes baldness. It does not cause gout attacks, it decreases uric acid, and the current clinical research does not validate the notion that creatine supplements causes dehydration or muscle cramping. The only consistent side effect that's been noted is weight gain, but this is a good thing, we're increasing our lean muscle mass, as in our muscle stores. Personally, I take 5 grams of creatine every day, including on the days that I don't exercise. And sticking with the theme of exercise performance, let's have a look at TMG or trimethylglycine. TMG is thought to improve muscle performance by delaying fatigue in high intensity activities. It may also enhance muscle building. We've got great evidence from a 2017 meta-analysis showing that when you combine exercise with TMG, we see further benefits compared to just exercise alone. And that's the key point. When people are given TMG and they don't exercise, no benefit is seen, but when you pair TMG with exercise, you see further benefits compared to just exercise alone. For example, a 2021 double-blind randomized controlled trial showed that 14 weeks of TMG supplements improved 1 rep max, VO2 max, and repeated sprint ability performance compared to placebo. But it's not just muscle performance for why I take TMG. A 2020 meta-analysis looking at the potential risk factors for Alzheimer's disease or dementia concluded that high blood levels of homocysteine is a risk factor. And TMG lowers homocysteine, so it's possible, not proven, but possible, that TMG supplements may reduce the chance of developing dementia. I take at least 500 milligrams of TMG every day, and we may see further protective effects against dementia by adding in omega-3 supplements. A massive study called the VITAL trial, which was a placebo-controlled study, showed that the group who took omega-3 supplements had an unexpectedly high 28% reduction in the risk of heart attacks. And a Mayo Clinic meta-analysis that combined all of the relevant clinical studies together on omega-3 concluded that omega-3 supplements are associated with a statistically significant reduction in the risk of heart attacks with high-grade certainty. I take 1 to 2 capsules of omega-3 every day. This is for heart health and possible protective effects for the brain. The next supplement that actually makes a difference is psyllium husk. More and more research is coming out about how crucial our microbiome, or the bacteria that grow in our gut, is for our health and we can feed our microbiome with fiber. From a 2016 Cochrane review, we can see that higher fiber intakes reduce cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. I mix 5 to 10 grams of psyllium husk into my morning smoothie every day. Next is collagen peptides, or hydrolyzed collagen. From a 2020 meta-analysis that combined 10 separate, randomized controlled trials, concluded that all of the included studies reported benefits of hydrolyzed collagen on skin health parameters, including moisture, elasticity, wrinkle number, and dryness. And crucially, there were no inconsistencies seen between the different collagen studies. 
Since then, we've had further studies, such as this one in 2022, again showing that hydrolyzed collagen reduced wrinkles compared to placebo. It's about an 8% reduction. Collagen peptides are short chains of amino acids, and amino acids make up proteins. So one interesting question is whether collagen supplements offer any further benefit compared to just supplementing with protein. To explore this idea, we've got a 2020 randomized controlled trial looking at burn patients. Half of these patients were given 36 grams of collagen peptides and the other half were given 35 grams of protein. At the end of the study, the wound healing rate was significantly higher following supplementation with hydrolyzed collagen compared to protein. Based on that study, it does appear that there are further benefits from supplementing with collagen peptides compared to just protein alone. So for that reason, I supplement with 10 to 15 grams of collagen peptides every day. Keeping with the theme of improving skin health, let's have a look at hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is present in every connective tissue and organ. It's the backbone that holds everything together. But as we age, our levels of hyaluronic acid decrease to the point where a 75-year-old person only has one quarter of the amount of hyaluronic acid in their skin compared to a 19-year-old person. So multiple randomized controlled trials have been done looking at giving patients hyaluronic acid compared to placebo. And overall, we can see significant benefits from supplementing with hyaluronic acid. For example, let's have a deeper look at this 2021 randomized controlled trial. After only 28 days of supplementing with hyaluronic acid compared to placebo, there were significant improvements in skin health. The skin was more hydrated by about 10% and wrinkles decreased by almost 20%. Importantly, that 2021 study had no conflicts of interest to declare. This was not sponsored by a supplement company. Now, one of the safety concerns about hyaluronic acid that you may hear online is whether hyaluronic acid accelerates cancer growth. To explore this safety concern, hyaluronic acid was given to mice that already had cancer. And using various imaging techniques, they could see that hyaluronic acid had no effect on cancer growth. The other important point is whether the molecular weight of the hyaluronic acid changes its effect on the body. But it does appear that hyaluronic acid is decomposed into low molecular weight by the intestinal bacteria. So at this stage, we don't know which molecular weight is best for hyaluronic acid supplements. But personally, I take 200 milligrams of hyaluronic acid every day. Number six on the list is multivitamins. 31% of the US population is at risk of at least one vitamin deficiency. A lot of people struggle to reach the optimal daily intake for all of the different micronutrients every day, particularly for vitamin B3, vitamin D, vitamin K2, zinc, and magnesium. But it's important to note that I'm not advocating for mega dosing. All I'm suggesting is a low dose multivitamin to help patients reach their optimal daily intakes for all of their micronutrients. I couldn't find a multivitamin and mineral that met the requirements that I was looking for, so I designed one myself. It's specifically designed to help people reach their recommended daily intakes of micronutrients without mega dosing. It also includes TMG and hyaluronic acid. It's called microvitamin and it's manufactured in a USA facility that's FDA approved. Demand for this product has been much higher than I could have possibly predicted, so apologies if there are times where the supplement sells out and you have to wait. Link is in the pinned comment. The final supplement that I would take, and this is only from the age of 45, is NAC. Now this is a bit complicated. As we get older, our levels of oxidants, they tend to increase, and this is in an attempt to maintain survival until they betray their original purpose. We used to think that all oxidants are bad, but our understanding has changed. Instead, what we want is a balance between oxidants and antioxidants. And one of the most powerful antioxidants is called glutathione, but from the age of 45, our glutathione glutathione levels tend to decrease. Glycine and NAC are the building blocks of glutathione, and by supplementing with those building blocks, we can help to restore our glutathione levels and maintain that balance between oxidants and antioxidants. For example, a recent randomized controlled trial to study the effect of supplementing older adults with glycine and NAC versus placebo found that there were significant improvements in mitochondrial function. We're still very early on the research journey with the strategy, and of everything that we've discussed so far, NAC has got the least evidence. When it comes to glycine, 
Collagen supplements already have a lot of glycine, so personally I don't see much added benefit from supplementing with glycine alone. And just to reiterate, I would only start taking NAC from the age of 45. Now in this video we're focused on supplements, but supplements are in no way a replacement for a great diet, so make sure to check out this next video here on the latest diet research. A massive thank you to donotage.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin study. They are a health research organization, and to benefit from their ingredients as well as the 10% discount code, check out the pinned comment.